I am back with a fashion haul and I have my little clothing rack out in front of me with quite a bit, I wouldn't say a lot, just um, some basic pieces. I My wardrobe is very monochrome and I know it's sad and I know it's summer and um, I don't know, I just, I'm still into like my vampy lip, my dark nails, black and it's not going to change. Maybe a pop of color here and there, but I like my black is my favorite color, if you didn't know. But um, I got a couple of things. Um, here I go with the, uh, the ums again. I went out, or I placed a couple of orders uh, online. Uh, I'd say one at Netta Porter. I also went to Cotton On. I ordered from some shoe store for a pair of shoes, and then I went thrifting. So I will get started with the first little things that are hanging off the ends and these are little bralettes that I got at Forever 21. I normally don't shop in there but these are super comfy. I got a white one and then this gray one, this gray striped one, which I don't know why but I haven't been able to wear a bra and I don't even know how long I've been wearing these little things or like the lacy bralettes which is I'm wearing it underneath my shirt, obviously. Um, but these are kind of like that spandex material, but I figured this with a white t-shirt and the majority of my t-shirts are see-through. So I figured this paired with my t-shirt, again, um, would look fine. And these are super inexpensive. They didn't have too many colors of these. So I had to just go with like the basics and I, I like a little bit of gray, but the white one I know I'll get a ton of use out of and I got it in a size small, both of them in a size small. They do stretch out just a little bit, but other than that, I mean for three bucks. Okay, next piece I picked up was at Marshalls and this is a Cynthia Rowley just plain white t-shirt, um, has a little pocket like those slouchy boyfriend shirts. I got it in a medium just because I like my t-shirts to be a looser fit, but I really enjoyed the detail on the back. It has, I don't even know what it is. It's this just stripe. And then along the sides of the t-shirt, it has, it's a little bit longer in the back and it has this cute little slit. And I thought it made it a little bit more masculine in a way. Um, I do like the big scoop neck. I think I own a V-neck white t-shirt and then um, maybe like a boat neck t-shirt, but I don't have anything like this. So this probably paired with one of the bralettes would be fine uh, for summer. And then I picked up another t-shirt at Marshall's and this is kind of like a marbleized gray t-shirt and it's almost sporty in a way to me because it has this detailing, the stitching on the sides and then the um, sleeves are cuffed a little bit or rolled and uh, it's not I wouldn't say it's a scoop neck but it kind of it almost sits like a boat neck shirt but it has that marbleized um, t or pattern to it that gray marble and then it has a nice seam or a nice line along the top shoulders which gives it a little bit of a sporty feel to me at least it does the next shirt I got was actually from Netta Porter, and um, this is the T by Alexander Wang. Uh, I believe it's just called a t-shirt, but I needed a solid black shirt, so I picked this one. It has a, a pocket to it. Um, again, I'm obsessed with my boyfriend t-shirts and the little pockets, but this is a v-neck almost. Well, it kind of... I'd say it's a scoop neck, but I got it in an extra small. I would have, if I, it's not super small, but I'm afraid that when I wear it or if I wash it, um, it will shrink a little. Right now it sits, I hate it when my shirts sit above my waistline. I like them to sit a little bit lower. Um, and I like to tuck them in my pants occasionally like I am today, but, uh, other than that, I mean, it's fine. If I wash it by hand and I don't, uh, if I don't shrink it or if I don't put it in the dryer, I think it'll be fine. But absolutely love this t-shirt. It is a little bit pricey, 
but I think I'll get a ton of wear out of it. I'll have it for ages, and if I take good care of it, it'll last me for a while, so. And it's a basic black t-shirt. Can't go wrong, I can just throw it on and I'll be fine. Next, on my little rack here, I have this Zara Basic Blazer, and this one's a little bit more tailored. Uh, it has buttons here at the end. It comes in at the waist, it has a button here. It closes and a little handkerchief pocket thing. This I actually found it at the thrift store, or I should say my sister found it. She spotted it. We I go thrifting with her because us together we find all types of things. But uh, she spotted it and she was like, isn't this that store that you always get your clothes from? And I was like, oh my god, what's wrong with it? So I looked all over the place to see if there was like a hole or if there was some something wrong with it at all nothing absolutely nothing i don't know if it was too small for someone but whatever brought it home took it to the uh dry cleaners had it cleaned and uh now i have a blazer and it has this cute little slit in the back i wore it out once already um i love it i love the tailored fit and i think this with like a t-shirt ooh, a plain t-shirt underneath with some leggings and some heels or some leggings and some boots um, or even like boyfriend jeans which is like my next I'm so obsessed with boyfriend jeans it's not even funny so got that and I think I only paid five dollars for it and it's like an $80 blazer so I scored um, next piece <laughs> I got was from Cotton On and um, luckily my stepsister told me about this stuff or told me about it because I spotted it um, maybe I'd say like a month ago, maybe, no, not even a month ago, maybe a couple weeks ago I saw it at the store and I fell in love with the pattern. It's almost like this tribal print, I'm not even sure, triangles, it's just very geometric, um, very monochrome and I, on the sleeves, so the, it's a kimono, did I say it was a kimono? Um, but the kimono on the sleeves, it has this little beaded detailing, it's like silver, little beads and it's beautiful and it's long enough that it, it just it just feels flowy it's light so I can throw this on and not be fearful of looking like a fool in the middle of the summer it's just a really really pretty piece here you can see the pattern a little bit better if I turn it around but it's gorgeous and um, I believe this was on sale for $20 next piece both are thrifted as well I found these Van Heusing trouser pants and they have pockets um, here is the back of them they're just a gray color and then I just rolled them up but they're in really good condition they fit really nicely I figured this also with a t-shirt and um, some boots or even uh, my sandals or some strappy heels or the strappy heels that I'm wearing today would look perfect with this and um last clothing item are these distressed boyfriend fitting jeans and these i also thrifted and these are actually from arrow pastel or arrow pastel i don't even shop there but i noticed the jean i liked the fact that they were distressed they looked like they were my size here is the back of them and they're freaking awesome and i think that style of them it's called the Bela skinny and these are a size one I believe and I'm like a double zero I'm so damn skinny it's horrible um, nothing ever fits me but luckily boyfriend jeans don't have to fit you um, they're really comfortable they're really um, I don't know that they you know how when you get some jeans and they feel stretchy? These don't feel stretchy at all. Like they feel like proper jeans. And I know that I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of them. And I cuffed the ends of them too. Um, I actually wore this to the movies when I went to go see Maleficent. And um, I love them. And thrifting is awesome. Thrifting tips. It's good to go when you're, you can take someone with you, maybe act as a second pair of eyes. Maybe they'll see something that you don't. Um, I would kind of take an hour out to just sift through everything and also go through men's, children's, women's, like this Zara blazer was in the children's section. So 
uh, I didn't even get to that point yet or get there, but my sister was already there and she found it. Um, these are, I think they're girl jeans. I'm pretty sure they are. Like men's jeans don't come in a size one. Like it says one slash two regular. I'm assuming that they're women's jeans or girls jeans, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they were in the men's section. So they're just really, thrifting's really fun. Okay, last but not least, I got a pair of boots. Now, these are the Steve Madden Nexstar, I believe they're called. And I got them because Chelsea wears, um, she posted a picture on Instagram with her wearing them and she had her jeans tucked into them and they, oh, I was like, I need to have those shoes. So I got these because you convinced me to, but they are, she's totally right. They're comfortable, uh, they already feel worn in, they are true to size, they have this nice little cutout here, they're open toed, and um, they're, they cover the rest of it. So I mean, it's summer, I can get away with wearing them so that I can get some ventilation going on in my feet so they're not super sweaty or anything like that. And um, I love them, absolutely love them. The heel's not too, too high, but it gives you enough to give you kind of like that, don't mess with me, I'm, I'm tough, even though I'm not that tough, I'm really not. Um, but I really, really like these. And I ordered these online. Um, Macy's, they, I don't think they had them in stock, or the Macy's at least where, that I live next to. So I had to order them, but which is fine. I had a coupon code. Uh, I got them off of, I think, 6pm.com, something like that. Ended up paying $88 for them. And I think they're 150 regularly, but how freaking awesome are these damn boots? Like I can't get over them and I'm gonna get so much wear out of them. Like I can, you can wear them at anything, I think, in my opinion. You can wear them with shorts, um, even though I don't, I own one pair of high-waisted ones and then a pair of like really distressed ones. But uh, I think that it can go nice. You could dress it down or like a real super casual outfit, like even with like the black t-shirt and the boyfriend jeans and these shoes and call it a day. So totally think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these and I absolutely freaking love them. Like these are awesome. That was it for my little fashion haul. I did order a pair of aviators. Um, they're not here yet. Uh, they're all black and I feel like they're gonna look really cool with everything else that I got. Uh, I still am on the hunt for like a denim jacket. I don't know why, it's gonna be hot as hell outside, but I still want a denim jacket and I think I'm gonna order a couple of more of these um, lace bralette things. I don't want to show you my boob or anything, but I showed you this in my New York City haul. I got that from um, Aritzia. It's a brand called Tallulah. Tallulah. So um, now I'm rambling, but uh, my birthday is next week on Wednesday. Super excited. And I will be doing a birthday tutorial or makeup tutorial. I am one of those sad ass people that plan their makeup ahead of time. Um, that's just me. That's how much time I have on my hands that I plan. Um, I plan for everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.